I assume everyone's properly synced. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'm storing my energy chat. Mine says 11 seconds, so you're 14. Oh, dear. Yeah, when I asked if we were synced and you said yes, that was supposed to be an answer that's no, accurate. No, I know, and I, I looked and then I realized that there's a slight disparity. I'm going to move it back two yeah, seconds. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you, uh, We're fading out. We're going to... Ah! Ah! Okay, yeah, mine faded out right, right before yours said now. We're good. Okay. Ah. Ah. Oh man, I'm in the world. Holy sh Oh man. I'm in a car. That's the Walking Dead VR. That's Switchback VR from Dark Pictures. Yeah, the Dark Pictures. Hello, neighbor! No! Justin! Welcome to our first State of Play of 2023. We've got a lot to show you, including an in-depth demo of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. You can't see I'm giving it a thumbs up. PlayStation VR 2 is finally here. Let's dive right in with a look at five games arriving on PlayStation VR 2 this Matt year. Pat will enjoy this show. This is the show for Let's Matt Pat. Let's see how you do this time. Kid, we gotta work on your focus. Distractions. Jam. Jam? Jam. He'll get you killed out there. Remember what we shook on. Or, I guess we'll just have to keep this up. I love cards. <laughs> Let's try again, shall we? There we go. I can adjust the audio that way. There we go. Much better. I love seeing basic violence in video games. Sometimes it just makes me happy. That was the most nothing thing ever. That was like the most <laughs> video game ass video game I've seen in like a like, minute. That slid off me immediately. What are you talking about? There, there's zombies. There's ha we got the. Here's our next VR game. We got this. We're in a jungle. Oh, is this? Oh my God! It's the forest. The game, the forest. I believe it's, I, be, I think it's the same devs because I recognize that UI. Oh, okay. It really threw me off because it, <laughs> you're like, oh shit, it's the forest. And I'm like, eh, it kind of looks like one. Yeah. The kid running is so funny. Oh my God, they didn't animate that at all. I need you. It's, it's VR. Everything's different over here. It's weird. What? What? <laughs> what was that? That? Th Everything about how that animated really just fucking got me. That was a fucking Gugar shot. Fricked! <laughs> that really was a triple threat of shit no one played. <laughs> that was so stupid! <laughs> Oh man, I'm starting to get the feeling that this state of place sucks. What? It's just no, it's dude. just it's just the VR block. I can't I can't judge hey, listen, it like that, dude. What? VR is hard to make a trailer for. It, it is. It also looks significantly worse if you're not wearing the goggles. Like grabbing no, I know. it, it's end just... up looking worse. Also, they're they're smart. They're doing every VR game. Immediately and first. And fast. Yeah, it's really hard to make a... To make a long trailer for a VR thing, unless you're an asshole. 
It's okay. Once Goodbye Volcano High shows up, then Aerie can <laughs> kneel. Isn't that game, like, terrible? Yeah, but it's the, it's the aggressively furry dinosaur one. I don't care. <laughs> Was that a fucking, like, fake quote? <laughs> Pee pee poo poo, Aristotle. Will fall. Our galaxy will be I didn't want to. I didn't want to say anything about it because it was literally an Isaac Asimov fucking quote. We can't stop it, but law robotics. A plan to save humanity. Oh, okay. He wrote a lot of stuff. It's just, I'm so used to the trend of just making up a quote for your from your own universe and starting the trailer with that. So, <laughs> you fight for a dying empire? I feel like we need more of that. I think that's always great. Foundation. I'm like, man, this is really, um, really profound. Who said it? A character in our game 10 hours from now. Whoa. You see that Hurry. Tower? <laughs> scary one. Man, this state of play got a lot better. That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. Your life. Trauma dump me you now, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the interactive afterlife. First thing that you can remember. Every time you blink, kitties you're going to jump forward in time. This looks neat. Hey you. Yeah. Come over here. Is that really I'm you? glad they were able to identify people making things really? that are not just I have a gun. The only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius which might live on after you're gone. Life is strange VR. None of the dialogue has uh, viciously upset me yet. Close your eyes now. And keep them closed. No one said hella. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> you're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Now, the this scene you yell hella high whore is real, real strong. Try to enjoy it. Oh, it comes out next month. Yeah, there you go. They gotta start doing the rollout, getting some stuff in. That was a sneak peek at some great. Given the launch lineup was like, I think it was like a third new, and then the rest were like Up next, update Bungie ports. gives us a stunning new look at Destiny 2 Lightfall, which launches on PS5 next week. Bungie attempting to grab me by my brain and tricking me into uh, binging it. Oh fuck, the triangles are showing up. The witness. I forget, did Sony buy Bungie or did they buy Destiny? They bought Bungie. Is it our okay. You have no purpose. Yeah, they uh, bought Bungie, but like Bungie. They bought one company like instead it's... of forty. It was crazy. I know you do. They that. also only spent like three billion dollars instead of eighty. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck the triangles. What do you think the triangles are, Bridget? Wait. Was I recognize that voice. Oh, Lance was Reddick is one of the main dudes in this, yes. Oh, okay. He's one of the he's one of the faction leaders. Oh, is, is he the blue dude? Yeah, he's the blue bald dude in Fortnite. Ah. Explain it to me like it's Fortnite. So, so Bridget, oh. do, you have, do you have any idea what the triangles are in this? Those triangle pyramid ships? No. Those are the darkness. <laughs> Casey, I'm being tricked. Casey, awesome. I'm, get I'm, I'm getting tricked. What? This looks really cool. Oh yeah, this is the best feeling FPS there is. <laughs> It's kind of absurd. Dude, I played this game, it played like crap. I've, I've never played Destiny. Yep, it's, um, uh... 
you shoot the gun and it feels You're so like, how good. does it you... still feel this good? And how does no one know how to make it feel this good? Oh, this game. This is that game that won't come out, but yeah. has to be at every show I see. This they, is the one, where, this is the one they... where you turn into a coconut, right? Yes. Okay. How the, I I have never cared less about a game that I've seen at almost every event. That's I not about true. That is not true not... for me. You're lucky. <laughs> Fucking Metal Hell Singer. What did you think of Deathloop? I was somewhat interested in Deathloop. Deathloop was so fucked up where I'm like, never show it to me again, and then I played it and went, oh yeah, it's pretty good, actually. Never show it yeah, to me again, game. though. And then they showed a trailer for it at an Xbox TGS show, and I started, I started both loving it and having a panic attack. Me and you just started screaming when that happened. Because I've been waiting for it ever since. I'm like, Sony locked exclusivity. Xbox is going to do a fucking trailer for it at a show for Deathloop for when they get their turn. And it was at fucking TGS! I I was that I was that, that never... show is forever oh. worth it. Oh, <laughs> it's real. Oh, there you go. I figured it had to have a date now. That whole thing was worth it when they showed the Guilty Gear Strive theme song and probably went, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> Chia is one of our most anticipated it's so games, good. And it's oh, into the okay. Plus game I guess I get that for free. Oh, okay. That's what they do for the premium Plus. indies now. They're just Let's like, hey, if you if you're in a tier, you can just fucking grab it. <laughs> What's up? What's up? How you doing? Fucking Battlefield 2042? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That game's ass. <laughs> oh, actually, though, the the new additions to a. Uh... Extra and premium are really good, though. Yeah, yeah, the new, the new additions here are good. We actually had a good month for uh, premium classics because they dropped two JRPGs in there. Our next game is from Enhance, the creators of Tetris Ooh. Infinite and Res Infinite. Ayo? Dog. Dog. Alto. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, they're fucked. You literally need to just make it glow purple, I'm just saying. <laughs> what? what is this? Pikmin I'm lemmings? Doing this. Yeah, this is just lemmings. Lemmings, but you're a dog. Yeah, yeah, lemmings. You, you control the people with your dog. Something about lemmings being pe just normal people makes it infinitely funnier. <laughs> they all look like FF7 RNPCs. I was gonna say slightly more defined uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions F N NPCs, but that works too. What are you doing? Kill! <laughs> War! Near Automata! Oh, yeah, that's, yeah that's, that, is, that is just a near set. Alright, create your Catherine level. This music's making my brain pulsate. Yeah, that's enhance. <laughs> they love doing that. You should pick this up and play it while high. I should play Tetris Effect while high. Oh, fucking yeah. Oh, fuck. I can actually do this tonight high. Is this all Goodbye Volcano high? No. No. No, it is! <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> me! <laughs> You make fun of a game long enough, it actually does show up again. <laughs> oh shit, they, they've never shown gameplay of this. I didn't know it was going to be a fucking bad rhythm game. <laughs> so, big day, class president's speech at the assembly. In light of the whole space rock 
potential demise of oh my god it's the exact plot called three years ago okay so people haven't seen this imagine life is strange but with dinosaurs at a high school and a meteor is gonna kill them all i guess that's assuredly what the ending is going to be oh my god it's just life is strange but with dinosaurs yeah i think you're like a second or two ahead of me by the way to you Oh shit, just minorly if you just like pause and pause real fast. Something like that. Yep, I'm I'm synced up now. There you go. There you go. We're good. Yeah, this is exactly what I expected the game to, to be, I guess. This, this is exactly what I expected the game to be. It's weird how everyone's acting like nothing is different. Like to me, everything feels different now. We've always done what you wanted to do, and that's fine. Airy game. Sorry. <laughs> How do you respond to that, Ari? Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to, like, say. <laughs> Jesus. It, it can still get pushed back. Just... Yeah, there's always hope. <laughs> Where <is> Yo! <laughs> Naruto jump scare! <laughs> Didn't Goodbye Dragon High get milkshake ducked within, like, 30 That is like, insane. Like... They're recutting every Storm game into one game. That's crazy. That this probably goes insane, actually. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is the day one, probably. You can't defeat me. No matter what you become, I will always love you. Like the like these games are in. These oh, games feel oh, like this has to be budget. getting a native like PS5. That's gonna look great. These games feel like they have more budget than most Tales games. Yep. Yep. These are like some of the best, like, we're adapting the anime story games ever. People have gotten, like, into Naruto through just playing the story modes of these. Yeah. Which I don't 100% would suggest that's the way to do it, but boy, is it cool as shit. It fucking, it, it works at least a little bit. Yeah, it works a little bit, but I don't want to be that guy of, like, experience the media through the video game adaptation. But it, but it is quite sick, especially because they extend fights and add extra set pieces because Cyber Connect 2 rule. Yeah. This seems awesome. Oh, apparently on PS5, uh, some of the later ones run at 30, so this is going to be nice. From here forth, history will be spun again. And so began their journey. On a path with no end. Ooh, new ninjas. I will establish perfect order. What you describe is nothing more than a Okay, uh. Kind of are these all Boruto characters? I do not wish I'm trying to remember if, th if those are new characters or if those are like. Oh no, those are uh. Captivating descendants of the Sage of the Six Tabs and that. So I think that's I, I believe that's still normal Naruto. Yeah. They weren't completely white, so they weren't aliens. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, this is Baldur's Gate. Oh. Yeah, this is Baldur Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, this game's gonna be good. Yeah, they've been cooking it for a while. It's been like on early access on PC. I keep wanting to tap into it at some point, but I just am like, well, it's not finished yet, but... Yeah. I have a feeling this is gonna be one of those Hades-like games where because of the early access, this game has insane content. Yep. Yeah, I'm figuring it's something like that. I like how they literally complain saying, most of our player base, we gave them so many options of character creator and they just make white guys. <laughs> and I'm like, Vince. <clears throat> is a frightening man, but you have it's like when Vince fun. started playing FF14 and just made a male human. <laughs> he just recreated Meteor. This music's really funny. Okay, yeah, it's a little penisy. I'm trying to remember when the last Baldur's Gate was. What was it? 1999. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, it's it's it... some old as shit. 2001. There you go. August 31st. 
Are you ready for I? <laughs> you could have given me any name on that. I don't know what the fuck this is. A multiplayer adventure for you and your friends. It's all set in Evanor, a gorgeous. Any game with this art world. style will is leave my real? brain instantly. I'm like, sure, you got mythic World of Warcraft sword. And Silo. Um. Firepower. Fortnite gun. This game is reminding me of another one of these. Why is it running like this? Oh, oh, they, oh yeah, that's not a good. <laughs> I saw the UI and for a second thought it was fucking Fortnite. <laughs> the environment kind of looks like you, they're going on their Fortnite mission over here. This does kind of look like a high quality Fortnite custom map. Lost zones are where you and your friends will team up to complete quests, collect loot. And hunt bosses. We made this Fortnite time. MMO. I literally, I, I feel like I've seen this exact game before and cannot remember the name of it. Very excited to bring Wayfinder's beta exclusively to PlayStation. Hunters of the Rift? Is that what it was called? I was really worried you were looking at the designs and saying Godfall. No, no, Godfall is not this. It's only going Dark Siders oh. too. There's a uh, there's Wayfinder, I guess. Cool. Yeah, there's a beta for that in five days. Updates on two highly anticipated Capcom games. Oh. Three new characters. And someone tried to say this Ooh, shit. Oh, Street Fighter character. Of course. We we were right. They just wanted to show off the money over at Capcom Cup. Yep. Let's All see right. what we got. This is for me, man. Right. Ooh. <laughs> I, I was like, who are we get? Oh, he's so wet. <laughs> oh, he's got proper wrestling tights now. Oh, he's so big. <laughs> you should show me your green hand. Well, Pat's thriving. <laughs> Show me the super kick. He had a super kick in five. You really could get <laughs> a move where he can parry, like, turn. He, like, literally turned a grab into a. It was like a counter grab. This is a lot. Oh, yeah, it's the uh, T Hawk replacement. I sure hope they just show the rest, because the only one left is Cammy. They said three. Ah, okay, good. Uh, yeah, this is the rest of the roster then. Lily, alright. Four months goes kind of crazy. Rest of the roster four months out. That's crazy. Yeah, they probably just did it early because it all leaked. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it a little easier. Oh. Oh, man, oh. she looks like a pain in the ass. This is great. Oh, my God. My... This is my kind of character. <laughs> Whoa. Jesus. God, her animations look so cool. Holy shit. Yeah, I've been waiting to see this redesign. Oh, this redesign goes hard. I know, they gave her pants. Oh yeah, that goes. How many fucking stages are in this game? A really good amount, like I've been pretty impressed Damn, with can that. you chill the f what you- Money, baby! She is serving so fucking hard. Oh, Holy yes, she shit. is. It's the one time I can support the British. He took, like, the actual, out, like, I idea of design, of, like, outfit design, and actually served with it. Oh, fuck. Going in. <laughs> He's dead. They showed off her ass like three times. Uh, in, in the it's it's quite important, Ari. 
Ah! No. <laughs> I got jump scared by Luke again. <laughs> they put her in those tight ass like fucking <coughs> mom jeans. Anyway, Resident Evil time. <gasps> <laughs> They did, in fact, say two titles. Have they shown Saddler yet? Christ. Uh, I think they've shown distant shots. That's about it. There we go. Oh. Ugh. They gotta stop being weird with Adam Sandler. <gasps> no way. Oh. Oh, they have an icon for when you have a Kevlar vest on. I'm making shit for you. Oh. Oh, 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 they, oh, they, they messed with this double fight a little bit. Long time no see. <laughs> Why? You can't say. Oh, it's this room. Oh no, it's the worst. It's the most fucked up room in the entire game. The suplex. All right, well, they, mission, they accomplished all missions. Together. Thanks. And come, Sancho Panta. Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea. You're gonna hurt yourself. Mm. Oh, here we go. Uh, island. Oh, my Christ! Oh, my Christ! Oh fuck! Oh! oh. <laughs> they confirm in interviews they have powered up Krauser for this game. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Special oh. demo coming soon. Please come out before my vacation. <laughs> Please, God. The show's not over yet. It's Harley uh. Quinn, Deadshot, King Shark, oh, hell yeah. Captain Boomerang against the world's greatest DC superheroes. I want to see Superman eat Superman a baby right now. The Justice League. I would kill myself on your stream. Don't do that. Or at yeah, least I do wouldn't. it quietly so we can just pretend Hi, it's a bit. My name is Aris Tadarian, and I'm the studio product director at Rocksteady Studios. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is the next installment in the Arkhamverse, and we'll be releasing this May. It is a third-person action shooter set five years after the events of Batman Arkham Knight. Metropolis has been invaded, and you're going in as the Suicide Squad members, Harley Quinn, King Shark, Deadshot, and Captain Boomerang to face off against the ultimate threat. What game reveal did I just miss? Uh, Resident Evil 4 remakes, like, final trailer. Our players, and we're very excited to share more as part of this state of play. Today, let's take a brief look at one of the missions in our game. The Flash has been corrupted by Brainiac, and as the Suicide Squad... Okay, you dodged Superman, together, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's just the Flash, and you just pretend. Enjoy. Also, they... Did they confirm Brainiac's involvement before? Uh, yeah, the first that... trailer. Okay. The, the opening trailer just shows he's glowing pink, and then it ends with Superman glowing pink, so he's being possessed by Brainiac. Oh, hi, Lex. Hold on a sec. Hello, Brainiac. Is it happening now? Great. You will have Luther ASAP. This flash design sucks so much ass. It's pretty rough, honestly. Not, I'm not a fan of it. Come and get him. Uh oh. Oh no, the Brainiac tentacle thing. I'm just excited to see gameplay because it's impossible for them to spend 15 minutes and not show me something. Task Force X, what the hell was that? The Flash is alive. And he had Luther. One damn thing at a time. That artillery is going to wreak havoc on our front line. If there's a snowball's chance in hell you can destroy it, I expect you to. No matter okay. the cost. Are we clear? Yeah. Where the snow? 
Time to light them all up. Hey, look, we got UI and shit. We can swing. At, at this moment, while I watch, I'm using my mind's eye to remember what uh, Arkham Knights looks like. Or um, whatever it was, Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just remembering how bad that combat looked to compare and contrast. The movement looks good. The gun impact looks bad. Shotgun's a little better. But yeah, that mini that mini gun should have way more kick. I need to stop thinking about Gotham Knights. They've looked way worse than this, and it's starting to make me upset. Is I remember, I remember Red, Ro I remember Red Hood's traversal thing was farting, and then I gave up. Uh, what were you saying, by the way? Is this next gen exclusive? I think it game? is. I believe it is. I feel like most third parties, whenever it was a big thing like this, kind of gave up on the other gen. They're kind of letting you, sh like, sh move around a bit. Yeah, I saw some sh movement the last time they showed it. I'm glad we're seeing, like, like more where you're just bouncing around and stuff. In a co-op experience with friends, it will be fun to kind of just split up, move around, and tackle stuff. Yeah. This feels like the kind of game that will be on Game Pass six months after launch. Uh, yeah, per yeah, perhaps. De de uh, depends, I, uh, how depends how well it does. I just hate how like there's no impact to any of your attacks at all. Yeah, yeah, I could I could use a little bit. Could use a little bit more. That ground pound what should not he... be that flaccid. Okay, now you're starting to turn me on to hating this game now. Can you see this? You the, the, gun, the enemy doesn't recoil. It just goes ta -ta 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 -ta, and the enemy keeps moving. Nothing's happening. Uh, yeah, that I know. One, that, that might be the worst ground pound I've ever seen. In anything. <laughs> <laughs> the movement is cool. She just did a slide thing. She's grappling. She's firing on it. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, that stuff's good. I just really like impact, and that somehow had less impact than birth nothing, by sleep. Nothing in this entire trailer has impact. So I do like shooting guns. I do like shooting guns. You gotta take out the little orbs like it's fucking Oogie Boogie Mansion in Kingdom Hearts 1. Right? Yeah, it won't be winning games for impact, you're right. Hello. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Who's voicing you, Lex? David Cross. <laughs> so, how the whole taking down the Flash thing go? Still in play? I get out of my way. I have work to do. Yeah, I don't recognize it. Must be from recent animated well, things hey or something. Sleepyhead. We've got Possibly. Yeah. yeah. Hey. You think I'm just gonna let you? Walk away and tell these guys everything you know. <laughs> you think they can stop us? Pathetic. <coughs> Pathetic? At least I'm not a big hero turned stooge for a space man. <laughs> okay, Boomerang. You want to see what a real hero can do? I'll show you. This fucking sucks, dude. Well, well what's the problem? We're about to engage the Ezra Miller boss fight. Okay. Flash, how do I stop this? Please, tell me how. I'm slightly relieved that not every single hero is immediately evil from the jump. You have to kill us, Diana. Save the world. I'm gonna be honest, that shot of Harley Quinn smiling uh, made me almost, almost have a heart attack. I'm like, please don't gonna... stare at me. <laughs> so, that's not happening. <coughs> They've already announced you can play as the heroes in Rocket DLC. Studios has even more to share today. Let's listen in. 
Yeah, I figured. I feel like it would be a massive fucking waste of their time if it wasn't. They're like, our next big Arkham game is with D-listers the whole way. Man, I would. This. Suicide Squad killed Justice League. And like, I... Of the Arkhamverse. And it's really this part is just like me and just being... Just, it, it, I just... It gets so sad that this is Kevin Conroy's final so role true. as Batman. Yeah. Things I hope the fans like about Rocksteady. But like a whole massive yeah, Phantom X, I'm aware. I was very disappointed when that release date happened because I was like, could you have just made it two weeks earlier so it could get killed by Zelda? Fun and enjoyable to see this universe, like through the eyes of the villains. They still have time to announce like we're picking up the story DLC for the end of Arkham Knight, Horizon, and a lot's changed in that time. They have. We're all seeing that thing, right? Brainiac has invaded Earth. No, is, it not, is, it not within, is it not within the Zelda time frame? He's taken over no, I believe they specifically, like, picked a spot that that they knew wouldn't wouldn't get it. Let's, let's see what it says here. Oh, fuck, it's Superman! So the Justice League share the same as Brainiac to take over... Yeah, the Horizon DLC has a, has a month lead time on Zelda. Yeah, that's enough time for it to get its own wings. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it, it, can, it can have its, can have its moment there. Putting Green Lantern on the enemy team is so fucking funny. I'm like, how do you... They have other lanterns you... for that. <laughs> yeah, you... They have, different co four... they have different colors for that. There are four other lanterns on Earth! This woman is in like every AAA video game I start to notice. Deadshot. The lady playing Amanda Waller? Yes. She's your mentor in Jedi Fallen Order. She's one of the judges in Forspoken. The feeling of swinging and the momentum and the kind of physicality of it. How much, how different do you think this game was before Spider-Man 2018 came out? Swing under bridges and chain that into the grapple mechanic that she's got. Who fucking knows, dude? Their last game was in 2015. Lord. Arkham Knight was a long fucking time ago. And that got, and that wrapped development in like mid-2016 in terms of like DLC and shit. Rifles, yeah. Rifles, so like, pistols. I feel like they had to have had another project that they just canceled for this. Oh yeah, yeah. There have been things about like both studios had things they were making that just got cut. King Shark. I, I forget if it's Rocksteady or the Gotham Knights people that were making a Damian Wayne game. That was that that was the Go that was the Gotham Knights people making that Damian Wayne game. I yeah. I don't know if it was ever real. I just remember hearing Rocksteady. We're working on a Superman thing. Yeah, I do recall that that was one of the things that he got he got dumped. Yeah, Deborah Wilson was the actress I was mentioning earlier that's in everything. Uh, I recently learned she provided the voice of the grandmother from that horrible Christmas CG cartoon where she speaks gibberish and goes Christmas. Did Did you see that execute that first execution King Shark did? Yes. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that that's right up there with Dead to Rights from 2003. Dodge around in mid uh, taking out the enemies and then Scarpa because he's oh, okay, you can, you can do like after image shit with uh with him. I'm here. One of the most Is that Captain Boomerang? That yes. man's noggin. It's <laughs> all widow. That threw me off, I'm sorry. I had a moment. You're making guns for us now, bird brain. But also some new faces. Hack who is a digital ghost that is helping the squad both navigate the world, but also upgrade the mech bombs. Got the big adrenaline spike analyze bomb sending out. <laughs> upgrade your neck bomb. Perfecting gear. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. I don't think I fully perceived what they're talking about here. <laughs> what the fuck did- You can Are upgrade their... the bomb strapped to your neck if- <laughs> Are they getting their superpowers from really their neck cool bombs? Oh, this game's gonna be real bad. I might have to play it. <laughs> Not good. It's starting to worm its way in my brain. That's always bad when that happens. Very functional. The huge difference between Metropolis and Gotham is that Metropolis really acknowledge and really trust. Rocksteady's Superman, European, so right? There was a lot of I guess. Thanks, Superman. For it. I know like nothing, Metropolis nothing about them because I don't particularly to care too much the eyes. You're to about their games. This world and traverse through this world as the villain. Mainly because they haven't made one in ten years. 
So the core ability that everything wraps around in Suicide Squad is your traversal. How that works with combat is you're chaining your combat moves together with those traversal moves, and the combat encounters are all designed to push and pull you around the environment in a battlefield that's constantly. I wonder if they'll show that pause menu again, or if they, they don't want to get more heat over it. Guns, your melee attacks. Oh, you know they're not. To your <laughs> advantage to control the chaos. <laughs> the menu for people who haven't seen it is the same square thing with the circle play? cursor that's in Destiny, and it has the fucking and the battle pass tabs over there, and it makes people go insane. Sniper rifles, shotguns, miniguns, and pistols. There's added variety from weapon manufacturers. I think the Suicide Squad like needed so much weapons, time. Weapons, uh, Rocksteady is considered a top tier studio like given how critically acclaimed and how well their last three sets? games sold. Like they were, um, they were basically the first major studio to put out um, a 8th gen game. Some of it will have to yeah, like, they 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 like, have a they have a pretty large level of prestige. When Arkham Knight was coming out, their their E3 show for PlayStation, they did like a 12 minute segment for that game. That was the one where they had like the diner one, right? With, with like, oh yeah, there it yes. is, battle. Pass! Let's go, baby! Social no talents, con battle pass, the store. Oh, this is awful. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Surprise! Oh, Look at all those meaningless numbers! Oh, this is terrible. Point, point two, point zero, point three percent chance to do more damage to a zombie during the winter solstice. Oh, those important costumes. We need this, all right? Okay, that's good. And still have like the best gear ever. I like it. Our game is a one to four. It was really funny when uh, the Avengers was coming out, and all of the oh, leaks about this game said that it was just this was just gonna be that again. <laughs> yeah. Which, as it turns out, it is, but everyone just uses guns. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. I think the Avengers game did a better job of making like the really characters feel like themselves i mean i mean yeah there was significantly more combat depth there it's just no one really wanted to like really dig into it yeah because how you can play together yeah the campaign like yeah the campaign stuff was fun but then there's like no content outside of that and they're like here's our avengers game how many villains we got three when the story's done your experience doesn't honestly the fact master wonder abomination and fucking modok is what they had for that game Dude, that that Modoc design is better than the one in Ant Man. <laughs> I think the one in Ant Man is hilarious. Oh, the one in Ant Man is hilarious. I adore it. It's just very fun. And also, I, I the, like you said, the fact that Wonder Woman isn't among the evil ones is giving me some hope. Yeah, where it's like, okay, not all of them got hit in some way, you know. If you want to play as a badass. This game kind of has it all. It's very fast paced. It's really colorful. It's loud and unapologetic. Oh, of course I'm willing to bet there's a separate currency. They want to give you a free one, then they want to give you the premium one. That's like, like a normal game thing now. Or I'll break your fingers. Cool, man. That's great. You can, you can get some game time in on that for like, you know, for a little bit before we'll be FF16 and uh, for Street Fighter hit. Yeah, it was pretty RA. Right. Gave me two Capcom hits. I was not expecting the rest of the roster there. They showed me Krauser's pussy. Good job. My assignment is I just always need like one or two things there. I don't, yeah, I, I never need much. Yeah. Yeah, I... My interests are broad enough to where I'm like, okay, there's there's a little bit of something going on. What? Let me see. If there's anything else? Cap here of interest. Capcom shit was cool. Naruto. Um... Oh, that Naruto thing. That that was killer, man. I was not not ready for them going. What if we took the five fucking games we made and stitched them together? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. What's up, buddy? War Warrior sixty four is so based. Oh fuck. I put <laughs> fifteen minutes of Suicide Squad begins now. State of play is over. Sorry, I took a 15 minute nap. <laughs> you know, honestly, yeah. I'm giving them kid gloves because their la the last fucking WB game was so fucking bad. But yeah, this is a firmly in a. All right. It's not. I, I wouldn't say it's like abysmal. I just didn't like the lack of impact. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't think it like looks. It looks bad. But the this year is going to be quite exceptional with stuff and. uh... 
also unfortunately has to follow up uh follow up uh, a remake of one of the greatest video games ever made. It, it it has to follow up the remake of re4 in this press conference and then follow up one of the most hyped video <laughs> games of the year in the tears of the kingdom signs and give does in a grab that's insane god that's fucking that's great but yeah, just the fact that I had to follow up the Capcom blog was uh, was a bit unfortunate. I got really excited when they're like, yeah, uh, Leon can can parry with the knife as the default moveset thing. And we've powered up Krauser. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, his whole fight doesn't have QTEs in it now. I'm just going all in. I'm rolling through this trailer again. I'm like, why not? This, this, this and... Dude... This RE4 stage. Is gonna, RE4 is going to be a different game. Did you, like, catch some of the... Like, Luis is there when he should not be. Oh, yeah, they're they're fl they're fleshing him out a lot because I feel like he could have used a lot more. And also, I like the dynamic they're really trying with him now that he's infinitely more greasy. Because, like, Luis is only there for, what, an hour and a half, two hours of RE4 original? He's, um... He's at the beginning when you get tied up with uh, by the big cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, then, then the cabin fight, and then he's like off-screened, essentially in the castle. And, yeah. And, then and, he I'm, dies and I'm thinking castle. about it. I'm pretty sure he was in the minecart part that is after the part he dies before. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like they might. Ex they're probably extending that a bit. But uh, yeah, that looks. This that looks, looks great. So sick. Lord! <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Now hold on, I'm gonna... I need to roll this back here, because this part's killing me. So they're like, it's in Britain. Put Big Ben in the back. Put, the, put a dude in a top hat, drinking tea on the side. <laughs> I'm glad Street Fighter's gotten back to just being G Gundam. And they're like, your French stage needs to have a giant Eiffel Tower dead center in the back. <laughs> Everyone's a stereotype. Make it gray and foggy and rainy. <laughs> I tragically don't remember a lot of stages from Street Fighter V. Uh, there's the plain one. <laughs> there... There's the one with the beach Leaving? that you can't play on yeah. because it it obscures the feet. Thank you, Purple Bugnet. Hope your stream was good. Yeah, um, remember when they did stage fatalities for one stage, then none others uh, for for like months. Yeah, that was funny. Or, I'm sorry, as Alta was a that was funny. You see, we are yeah, I need to, I need I needed another look at the at gas again. When you need only accept the sacred gift. Well, Christ. The next three months are going to be insane. Oh, yeah. This is the break month, and it's almost done. Temperance, child. Honestly, for most of March, it's a break. So, Chad, I forgot to put up my stream goal again because I didn't make a splash image, but I'll let you know what it's going to be. It's going to be several 3D Zeldas. In case yeah. people were wondering what the final goal of this month is, it's going to be a bunch of those for uh, Tears of the Kingdom uh, catch up. Do you plan on um, including Breath of the Wild in that? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking we're at least doing Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, and Breath of the Wild. I think that's what we'll do for it. I wanted to get. I wanted to give the decompiled things more time. That's so, fair. So I'm not going to mess with any N64 related ones. We will beat this. Are they death streams? Think about Zelda and then get back to me on this question again. Then we can we can really hammer out if I will be okay. death okay. streaming Skyward Sword. As, Twilight as, <laughs> as KZ's resident Zelda expert. Yeah. Um... Wind Waker would be the worst death stream of all time. By far. Uh, By far. Yes, no shit. Um, Skyward Sword, weirdly enough, I think you would, like, 
It would be insanely fucking long. That would probably be about as long as Vampire Reigns. Yeah. But it doesn't have the monotony that Wind Waker would have. Wind Waker would literally yeah. get, we would get to the moment in Wind Waker Run where we're already low on energy, right? Yep. And, and the game would try for sun. Wind Waker is an incredibly long game is what is what they're basically saying. Of the four games I listed, I've only played through two. It's Wind Waker and uh, Breath of the Wild. I have played basically none of the other two. And also, I've been meaning to do the other one. I forgot they said they're going to put out a demo for this game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Um... Get can it just be the can it just honestly can it just be the like mercenaries mode like, that would can it just be it would be great because i need to find out whether or not they remembered how a mercenaries mode is supposed to play <laughs> it's it's a listen it's a third person game i feel like they'll yeah yeah if it just plays like uh normal mer mercenaries and they're like uh it's about as good as six and i'm like well this game's an 11. that's cool crazy how you managed it Uh, um, but yeah, I've owned, I've owned the Skyward Sword HD thing since launch, and I just never ended up uh, getting into it. Like it'll be interesting. Stuff. It'll be interesting to see you play through that and try and grasp the controls. Yeah, yeah, that'll be interesting. See, so because so I think it plays, I think it plays really well with the analog controls. But yeah. uh... I like how they have to have a health bar for the knife at all times now. Because, be the, yeah, you, you get to upgrade gonna, and repair it and shit. This is gonna be the first game to like. <laughs> this is gonna be the first game to be a 15 out of 10. They said they're really working hard on making sure the repeat playthroughs are great. And I'm like, God, such gas. Look at this crazy bastard. I, I don't remember these being two separate Gigante models. Is Ada playable? Probably. There was a Resident Evil 4 separate campaign for her where you get to see what she was doing in the background in between cutscenes for Leon. That, oh, that, separate that, ways. that might be DLC. Yeah, it might, it might it, either. It might be DLC or, or it might be a, a but bonus I, thing. Who knows? If they get that in on day one, they, this game was massive. And they could probably it, get away selling it for ninety dollars. There's um, there's two options. It's either almost an exact replica of how Separate Ways was originally, mm -hmm. um, if it's in day one, or if it's DLC, it's massively expanded. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be shocked if they're like, yeah, we want it to be like a long, a, a, a long campaign. We want it to actually like have a lot of meat too, which they should because you know it is great. But I can guarantee you though. Ada will actually be playable, guaranteed in Mercenaries, probably day one. Yep. Yeah, we're because... yeah we're get, yeah we're getting one we're getting one one of the two options where it's either, in my mind, it's a big DLC thing, or there will be sections in this where you're playing as her and they're just weaving everyone's uh, plot lines together a bit more. But yeah, she'll definitely be playable in Mercenaries, so that's gonna be good. Uh, this is the lava room. They were different. Yeah, I just didn't. Uh, I guess it's because there's so much detail on this one. This is the room where you fucking drop one of them into the into the. Into you the also lava, definitely were fighting. Hole. Were you fighting two of them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one. Uh, this one. They had a thing where you could like open up the center so they could fall in and instantly die. So the thing became good. Players can kill both and get all the money out of them. You. Or you can try and get an instant kill. Yeah, there's the uh the slender chainsaw. Long time no see. Major Krauser? <laughs> why? <laughs> why did, why is there a rod of tweet for everything? God, this fucking uh, Let me let me grab the uh real quick. Where's the window here? I need to get a shot of this room from the original. Because <laughs> good lord. Hold up, is this is this matching? Good. This is the most... E they knew what they were doing showing this room in this trailer. Dude, it's maybe the most iconic room. I'm trying I to love... find... I'm trying to find it in here. I'm 
trying to find the right angle. I'm finding a few different ones. I'm like, is this the one? Oh, it's a web page. Uh, oh yeah, if I can... Stream's a bit of a mess. Uh, I'm trying to remember if it was like this. I'm trying to remember if it was this room or not. Uh, actually, is I don't think this is this room, actually. Ah, uh, okay. Because they, they've stayed pretty, pretty good with making them similar enough, but there's some fucking bad rooms in that shit. Give me that suplex again. Oh, sure. Oh, wait, this is the room! Oh, shit. What's gonna happen to me? Yep. Yeah, this is the fucking room. This is, like, one of the harder rooms in the whole game, because there's just... There's shit everywhere, and in the, in the, in the original, Ashley had health. She does not have health in the... In, in this one, this new one. Okay, I think I have another shot of it here. Yeah, basically. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the you're going up the stairs, you're going to the catwalks, taking out all the all the extras. Yeah, I'm glad they finally they finally showed that and the suplex, because I know that's all a lot of people were waiting for just to, the confirmation. But they do. Together. I need Lamb to be bitch and boy moaning in this game. Oh. Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea. She gonna hurt yourself. Nep's gonna have so many fucked up clips. This is absurd. Also, did they give you an infinite ammo in the original? They did not. Okay, yeah, they just give me infinite handgun on this. I love how fast this is now. With, like, multiple tracks. How bad do you think that section's gonna run on PS4? <laughs> really, really fucking bad. How about base Xbox One? This isn't coming out on ba on Xbox One, I think. I think <laughs> this shit's so fucked over there, man. It's like Street Fighter Six isn't coming out on the on the Xbox One. Yeah. Sony clearly bankrolled ports for the for PS4 for those two games. Also, Xbox One is like a decent chunk weaker than PS4. <laughs> yeah. So it just becomes this thing of like, yeah, it's a, it's a little, it's a little fucked up. Can, can you can you do me a favor, Casey? Sure. <laughs> can you post the clip of me laughing at them putting Battlefield on the fucking monthly <laughs> It was You had so much joy in your heart. You know, I'm starting to finally believe them, chat. I don't think they showed it in this trailer. I think they're going to include that one part of Resident Evil 4 when you're in an Egyptian tomb for no reason. I, His entire fight's gonna be you doing doing enough parries to be able to open him up. Leon! That might be the best fight. Yeah, it... Yeah. This time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To be different. The Xbox One, shit. Glad it's not coming. Yeah, of course. You know? Because most people that, that own an Xbox have, would probably seek out one of the newer ones that, like, run better. Or already have a PS5. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, Leon's brown sheepskin leather bomber jacket appears with permission from Shot sh NYC. I hope they actually give us an option to keep the bomber jacket the entire game. I need to see if they brought back uh, his 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 best his best costume, the the fucking suit, gangster Leon costume. The. The like RE games have been really good at um costumes. Yep. Oh, I didn't even realize Baldur Gates th Baldur's Gate 3 has JK Simmons in it. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, Alto calling up the stomach punisher for men. After Yeah. So she, fucking she is big. It's really funny where it's like you you just need to be really oppressive. With, uh, wait. I need to enhance that real quick. What's up? I think his titties move. 
<laughs> Hold we have on. to go back. Hold on. I have full screened my, your stream. Yeah, they jiggle. They oh, they, they absolutely do. jiggle. Look at that. Oh, Fucking they're jiggling. <laughs> I wait. Wait a minute. Does Zane keep got jiggle? <laughs> I was like, wait one minute. Wait, wait a second. Man, their, the an their animations are really good at quarter speed, actually. <laughs> Look at that fucking elbow drop. That was so good. You want to see some fucking impact from a video game? He claps the dude's head, grabs him, right? Where's the one? He does a thumbs up during one of these. His thighs are jiggling too. Oh yeah, this is this is the this is the stuff. Is this the one where he gives a thumbs up? Or no, it's not. Yeah, this is just the suplex flipping back. <laughs> Let's go up for another. There we go. That's gonna do the third of your health, probably. <laughs> His ass is huge too. <laughs> Fucking Vince moment. Speed. His thighs. Let's go back. His thighs. So here's the one where he catches. It's what a, it's the a, hell? Okay. <laughs> watch, watch his thigh again. Just watch, watch it. Fucking it pulsates. Boing, boing. <laughs> Holy shit! Here's the one where he has a parry grab. Yes. Oh, it's over. <laughs> oh no! It's, oh no! Not the ex. Please help. Oh god. Oh, it's such an insane pile driver. My man's ready to cause problems. This is the one where he gives the... I swear he gives the thumbs up during one of these. You're like, I gotta find the thumbs up. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that's, the that's not even a thumbs up. But I, missed, I misread the detail, but that's what I was looking for. Yeah, that's the money. I tweeted that Zangief has titty physics, and my phone is exploding. <laughs> That's good. That's what we need. <laughs> I thought he was about to hit him with a stunner. Let's see. Mercenaries are going to be available as free post-launch DLC. Based! RE4 uh, demo in the near future. What? I got off the press release here. Jesus face apping all the new characters. That's great. That's great, Cheese. <laughs> He's so scary. Yeah, I'm ha happy for Pat. Happy for his dog. I fucking hate Blanc. <laughs> fucking return to monkey ass. That looks like she has some sort of like camera taunt. That's neat. I can get away with doing this at half. These stages are all so fucking incredible. Oh yeah, like everything's like really varied and nice to where I'm... Because usually with a lot of fighting games, I feel like uh, after after launch, you're fucked. Mm -hmm. so, so it needs to start really good this... <laughs> she's, she's bringing the fucking business. I think it was confirmed this is T-Hawk's daughter. A lot of people assume there had to be some relationship. She wears like the same shit and she does the same moves. She's got the dive. I have to do another beta for this at some point, I believe, right? Probably one more. 
probably one more like a <laughs> most month likely the open. Oh yeah, they oh yeah, they haven't done an open. It's just been closed both times. Yeah, there's usually like an open for this sort of thing. Yeah, for some reason I thought the second one was open because I actually got in because I'm pessimistic. My bad. All right, uh, let me just skip forward a little bit so I can so I can play through our slow motion smut. I was like, I might, holy as, might as well holy finish the trailer shit. first. Cammy's render. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I need to see this. In stream call chat. Holy shit. Let me see this. Let me scroll. Jesus I Christ. Oh my God. But how bad can Good it be? Oh my Lord. God. Good Fucking god. Alright, on, the, on the profile. serving for days. Um, He's got hates. the figure of the hourglass they trapped a jasmine in an Aladdin. <laughs> um, so on the website, it says her like, her hates are everything, in parentheses, if she's grumpy, likes cats. Good for her. Also, yeah, that's the entire roster now, I think. Yep, that is it. That's um, that's eighteen characters that launch. Yeah, that is an insane starting roster in this in this like. Yep, and we already know the entire first season pass. It's what Rashid. It's Rashid, Ed, Akuma, Aki, which is one of the new characters. She's like the I think it's like Asian woman with claws. Yeah. And something else that I forget. Street Fighter Six leaked roster. Yeah, because we had we had the we had that chunk of like leaked characters, and then there, there were those few that were not not immediately in. Yeah, first season pass would be Rashid, Ed, Akuma, and Aki. Ah, yeah, there. You because everyone was thinking, oh, are we having a 22 character starting roster? Yeah. Which would which would be nice, but what, what we got is good because it's two more than what we had for five. And also, this game has content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it also has some, it has some content in there. Why well, is this game so horny? I'm not complaining, but I don't know. Have you have you fucking seen a Street Fighter before? They've always been like that. It's just look the graphics, every, the graphics look just look really good here. Look at all the costumes Chun Li has in. I'm gonna five. <laughs> you should look up Chun Li costumes. There's a lot going on there. Many of them don't have underwear. Remember when Alto spent twenty bucks on Chun Li ass? Uh, yeah, because it, her her ass in the water in Fortnite looks like a dolphin. Is uh what they said. <laughs> they were right for it. Were, yeah, that was funny enough that it tricked been. me into buying it too. Posting this thirteen-year-old tweet in call chat. Oh, that's all. It's always good. Is it? Uh, is, it is it the Eric Andre? Oh yeah, there it fucking is. I, I wish it. Chun Li was good. real. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I, I I I get to see things that I'm looking forward to, and uh, we are we are quite stacked. We got a lot of things going on. Capcom like. Cap God. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Capcom, every single show that they've been in has always been like, we're going to put the best two trailers in the entire <laughs> show. Because <laughs> yes. I'm like, this is an amazing looking Street Fighter. I'm like, oh, this is a, this looks to be a perfect remake to, uh, the greatest third person shooter yeah. of all time. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, anyway, I guess we can wrap up. Uh, I'm going to be streaming... Today's Thursday, right? I'm not crazy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, tomorrow, I will be doing a sponsored stream for Octopath Traveler 2 for its launch. So, we'll be doing that chat. You're going to you're gonna watch me do my, my very best at doing a real sponsored thing where, where, I'm, where I'm paid to do it. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, we're doing that tomorrow. I don't have, like, a set time or whatever, but, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be doing that. Uh, 
And then I guess we'll get back to FF10 next week as a result of that. So yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what else is going on. I'd like to thank my co-hosts for hanging out with me. Thank you, Mop Matrix and Lucan and uh, Luminant Gamer for the support. I have to go find a clip of uh, of Jordan laughing over Battlefield 2042. <laughs> Please. <laughs> bye, bye, everyone.